potential changes in our state's largest school district are not sitting well with parents this afternoon. In fact, many are outraged and confused, but Seattle schools say it's a necessary move. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is in Seattle with the details. So, Frankie, what's going on here? David, students, parents, teachers, staff, and more will be rallying here outside of Seattle Public Schools headquarters later today. The president of the Seattle Education Association say they're concerned about some upcoming staff changes within the special needs education program. And one parent tells me she worries how these potential changes could impact the resources her child desperately needs. Aparna Prasad has a 10-year-old son with autism. He's in a special education class at Seattle Public Schools with an individualized education program plan known as an IEP. It's a legal document under U.S. law for kids who have special needs to get resources and time specific to their learning needs. It is an ecosystem of support that these kids need in the classrooms. She says just when he was starting to recover from a year of remote learning during the pandemic, she learned sudden changes are coming to his classroom. I'm still in a little bit of a disbelief that this is happening. Seattle Public Schools says though enrollment has been low the past two years, it's deciding not to lay off its 74 full-time special education personnel. Instead, officials say some staff will be relocated or start a new position at their current school. Prasad says she worries this could reduce the staff and resources her son depends on. You're basically not being able to provide the students with these services and support that are contractually required. That's what the IEP is. The district says it's moving special education staff to different schools because there are classrooms where students with IEPs are experiencing an unacceptable student to teacher ratio as high as 54 to 1. SPS staffing adjustments recognize the need to relocate resources to better serve student needs. Special education services should be based on student needs not based on numbers, if we're truly providing the best special education services that we can in this district. The Seattle Education Association says it was not part of the conversation or decision making on these staff adjustments. And the president says that's concerning. We have a moral, ethical responsibility, but also a legal responsibility to meet the needs of those students. Um, there are minutes and services that are supposed to be, that are outlined in those IEPs. And for us to be able to continue to serve those students as they should be served, as they deserve to be, uh, you know, that takes thoughtful consideration. And there was, there was none of that kind of dialogue. The associate superintendent says they are committed to prioritizing input from the Seattle Education Association, the Special Education PTSA, and so many others. Those groups will be meeting with district leaders tomorrow to, to discuss these potential staff adjustments further. Those changes could start as early as next Monday. In the meantime, the Education Association's rally will start here at 430. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.